Today I'm going to show you how to build a gong stand that's flexible um, so you can have different arms hanging out, you can hang multiple gongs on it, and you can build it slowly. So this is the first side, and what we're going to do now is I'm going to build the second side just like this. I just made this ahead of time to make things go faster. So I'm going to take my leg, put the rubber clip on the bottom, and I'm going to take a T-clamp here. And the T-clamp has a key. We've got a little ring nuts and then little clamps here. So I just loosen this up, open it up, and may have to loosen this up a bit more. So we are going to open this key here and just loosen that a bit more as well. There we go. Now let's see if that fits. Oh my goodness. Okay, just got to keep loosening it until it will go wide enough. And this is a really nice system because this doesn't rattle. Um, when you go on the gong forms, everybody's like, oh, they love these stands. Okay, and open up. There we go. So now you can see this is really wide, loose. And, ah, see it fits on really nice and easy. And now I'm going to put my rubber foot on the other end. I'm not going to tighten this up just yet. Because you will notice when you have these, one side has to be tightened first. So I get the rubber foot on. Squish it on to the end. There we go. <clears throat> there we go. All right, so now line up my feet. Perfect. This, you'll see it says tighten first. So I have to put my tall pole in here first, tighten that, and then I can tighten this, um, centering it. So, this is my longest tool. Pop it in. And now these are super easy because I just twist by hand. I'm just going to eye this up midpoint. If you want, you can get out a ruler and measure it, get it exact. But for the sake of this video, I think this is good enough. There we go. So now I've got these on tight. Now I'm going to take my little key and tighten these up. So this is really nice if you want to travel and go with your gong stand. You can take it in four pieces. I usually don't take this part off. I just leave it as is. But then I can just travel with one piece with two pieces and then the two crossbars. So let's line up these rubber feet. Perfect. Now, what we're going to need is a T clamp because I've got a bar going to go across the bottom and one across the top. So again, down, I'm going to open up this T clamp. And I did do these ahead of time because I want you to see how fast and easy it really is. Okay, um, it might fit on, let's see. There we go, perfect. So I'm just gonna let this slide one down to the bottom. Now, at the top of these two, I need a two clamp, and what we're gonna do is, we want the top bar to sit on top. So this T clamp is gonna be sitting in this direction, but I have to tighten this first, so we need this top bar to have the T-clamps. So, my top bar is the longer of the two cross beams. Here it is, so this is my top bar. I'm now going to put on my two T-clamps at the top. And, ooh, that one's just perfect. And, let's get this one up here. Loosen up a little bit. There we go. 
Now I'm just going to rotate it this way. So yeah, that was the right way. So the P is on the same side. So this is going to be sitting like this. I don't have them tightened, so let's just leave it like that. But off to the side. I'm now going to put my lower bar in. So pop it in here. Tighten. I'm keeping this as low as possible. There we go. And you can put the second one up. And here we go. Right. Now, if I was just putting on my top bar, I could just lift it up right now and pop it on. However, this client wants to have two side arms so that they can hang small gongs off the side. So, I need to get another T. Oh no! I don't have it ready for the video. Okay, you know what? I'm going to take it off of here for right now. And I'll stop the video again. <laughs> Things always go this way. So, I need a T bar sitting over here. There are other um, angle clamps you can get. However, right now with COVID going on, oops, this is all we are able to manage to get. So here we are. That is going to hold my side clamp. And I will show it to you actually. Let's do that right now. So I already put the hooks. Same way, just loosen up the nut, tie it on. I'm going to put this on here. And I'm going to think oh, about this height. And if I am sitting on this side of the stand, I want that on an angle a little bit. So I'm going to tighten that up on the angle right there. There we go. And I keep it so now I've taken with the key, and this is going to be so secure that you're going to be able to hang that on there, which is really nice. There we go. So I'm going to hang a small gong here. On this side, take my next one, put it now on this one. I've got the screws on the inside, so I'm going to do the same here. I am going to want this one on that same angle. No, I'm just going to bring it in a bit less. So tighten that up. Oh. Sorry, it's been a wonderfully long day. But that makes me a little sloppy. So, if I was traveling, um, taking this places, I would even leave this on and I would just sort of pivot it so it's on the same angle. So now I have to put my top part on, so I'm going to have to pause the video for a minute just to get two more T-clamps. Okay? Hang in there. Okay, I got, I got two more. <laughs> Alrighty, never a dull moment here. Okay, so I can pop one on here. I'm going to put it this way. And my second one is going to go on this side. inwards a little bit. There we go. Tighten up. One, two, 
two. There we go. That's okay. That pops out. And I'll get that in a minute. And there we are. Get my key. Tighten up. Today is a day for driving. It's a good thing none of these break. <laughs> oh, goodness. There we go. That's what you're talking about. And, yep, I forgot one thing. <laughs> oh, this is too funny. But this is okay, because I can just undo this one. Loosen this up. What I forgot the day, important. Your hook. So, let's take one. Slide down. Slide down. Make sure you don't have to back over. Loosen it up. Stretch it over. And now I've got this one here. There we go. Now, thank you. This one is tightened up. Now I can do the feet. Tighten up. And you're always ready. don't do that. Um, there's all the moving parts, your plant's so tight that it's really nice and secure. So anyways, yeah, these are great. If I wanted one of these arms to be real heavy gong, then all I would need is the side arm and then um, a side pole and another leg. You can also go upwards, do two gongs up high, you can make this really wide so you can have two gongs without the middle pole. Totally versatile, totally mix and match. So thanks for putting out with all of my little fogs of dropping things. But um, yeah, hope you enjoyed my little video. Have a great day. Bye.